Hello, my name is Seth Sherman, and I'm a presidential ambassador at Thomas More University and a member of the Art at Thomas More Initiative. The initiative was made to shed light on the countless artifacts and artworks at Thomas More University. Today, we're here with the Madonna statue, which is located in the grotto right next to the Mary Seat of Wisdom Chapel. The Madonna statue was located in the Covington campus in the garden right next to the administration building on 12th Street. The statue was donated to us in 1954 by Villa Madonna students and was used for daily rosaries, countless graduation photos, and May crownings. Today, the statue is a reminder of our Catholic intellectual tradition and our devotion to the Virgin Mother of Jesus. In the old school downtown, to the right of the main entrance, there was like a walled garden. From the outside, you no wouldn't notice it. And the statue was in there. So we move out to the current campus. They brought the statue out from Covington. I had an office that had two almost picture window sized windows, and I could see that statue. They had a little shrine that was just. I think it was just flagstone. And at some point, somebody said we ought to do more with that statue. And it was one of the uh, Zala boys. It was a student, and he just sort of sketched something out. And that's what they used for the design of the present shrine. At the time, I worked for a year for Dr. Coffey uh, between college and medical school, just sort of as an assistant. He was new to the campus and... Um, I had been involved in student government, so was familiar with the, you know, the students and a lot of staff and whatnot. He was interested in some sort of structure, I guess, if you will, to sort of set it off a little bit that would uh, kind of blend with the rest of the sort of campus designs. He just asked me if I would uh, be interested in trying to, you know, put together some something to house it. The slope top seemed to kind of fit with the, uh, you know, some of the angles of the rest of the roof. We wanted it to be open so it would be visible, you know, from the side. I just sort of came up with the design, and I, I don't know actually who did the construction for it. If you have any information or a story about any art located at Thomas More University, please contact Judy Christ at chrisj at thomasmore.edu or call 859-344-3443.